Melechim Shani, two kings, two. And it came to pass, when Yahuwah would take up Eth Eliyahu into heaven by a whirlwind, that Eliyahu went with Elisha from Gilgal. And Eliyahu said unto Elisha, Tarry here, I pray you, for Yahuwah has sent me to Beit El. And Elisha said unto him, As Yahuwah lives, and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. So they went down to Beit El, and the sons of the prophets that were at Beit El came forth to Elisha, and said unto him, Know you that Yahuwah will take away Eth your master from your head today? And he said, Yea, I know it. Hold ye your peace. And Eliyahu said unto him, Elisha, tarry here, I pray you. For Yahuwah, for Yahuwah has sent me to Yericho. And he said, As Yahuwah lives and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. So they came to Yericho. And the sons of the prophets that were at Yericho came to Elisha and said unto him, Know you that Yahuwah will take away Eth your master from your head today? And he answered, Yea, I know it. Hold your peace. And Eliyahu said unto him, Tarry, I pray you, here, for Yahuwah has sent me to the Yardan. And he said, As Yahuwah lives and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. And they too went on. And fifty men of the sons of the prophets went and stood to view afar off. And they too stood by the Yardan. And Eliyahu took at his mantle and wrapped it together and smote at the waters. And they were divided hither and thither so that they went, rather, so that they too went over on dry ground. And it came to pass when they were gone over that Eliyahu said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for you before I be taken away from you. And Elisha said, I pray you, let a double portion of your ruach be upon me. And he said, You have asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if you see me when I am taken from you, it shall be so unto you. But if not, it shall not be so. And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire and parted them both asunder. And Eliyahu went up by a whirlwind into heaven. And Elisha saw it, and he cried, My father, my father! the chariot of Yashadael, and the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more, and he took hold of his own clothes and rent them in two pieces. He took up also at the mantle of Eliyahu that fell from him and went back and stood by the bank of the Ardan. And he took at the mantle of Eliyahu that fell from him and smote at the waters, and said, Where is Yahuwah Elohai of Eliyahu? And when he also had smitten at the waters, they parted hither and thither, and Elisha went over. And when the sons of the prophets which were to view at Yericho saw him, they said, The Ruach of Eliyahu rests on Elisha. And they came to meet him, and bowed themselves to the ground before him. And they said unto him, Behold now, there be eth with your servants fifty strong men. Let them go, we pray you, and seek eth your master, lest perchance the Ruach Yahuwah has taken him up and cast him upon some mountain or into some valley. And he said, Ye shall not send. And when they urged him till he was ashamed, he said, Send. They sent therefore fifty men, and they sought three days, but found him not. 
And when they came again to him, for he tarried at Yericho, he said unto them, Did I not say unto you, Go not? And the men of the city said unto Elisha, Behold, I pray you, the situation of this city is pleasant, as my Lord sees, but the water is not, and the ground barren. And he said, Bring me a new cruise, and put salt therein. And they brought it to him. And he went forth unto the spring of the waters, and cast the salt in there, and said, Thus says Yahuwah, I have healed these waters. There shall not be from thence any more death or barren land. So the waters were healed unto this day, according to the saying of Elisha, which he spoke. And he went up from thence unto Beit El. And as he was going up by the way, there came forth little children out of the city and mocked him and said unto him, Go up, you bald head, go up, you bald head. And he turned back and looked on them and cursed them in the name of Yahuwah. And there came forth two she-bears out of the wood and tore forty and two children of them. And he went from thence to Mount Carmel, and from thence he returned to Shomoron.